right, Nike, they did it again. They gave me what I wanted and I believe what most of you wanted. They gave us the original packaging, the original shape. I have no complaints on the Air Max BW 2021 Parisian. What I can say is they got everything right that I wanted done on this edition. As you can see, I've got my older ones in the background. My original video, you saw the 2016 pair. That is now gone. I sold it for 50 bucks, which takes 50 bucks off my newly purchased uh, $170 Canadian pair of Air Max BW. If you guys are wondering, I got it on a site called uh, Essence, I think it's called, S-S-E-N-C-E. Uh, up here in Canada for 170 Canadian dollars. They do ship to Canada. I do not know if they have any more sizes. I hopped on this right away because this is one of my favorite models of all time. So what I can say about the 2021 Air Max BW is that they did a way better job than they did in 2016. They gave me everything that I wanted done in this model and I am happy. And they did a 99% perfect pair on this one, in my opinion. In my opinion, I've had the original from 1991 Parisian. I've had the 2008 retro. I've had the 2016 retro, which is now gone. Okay, I'll let you know what they did right in 2021. Boom, that original Nike Air box with that 1990s box with the gray. Beautiful. Thank you, Nike, for listening to me and listening to us that want the original packaging on something that was made in the past that brings us memories. This is what we like. It gave me the original packaging. They gave me the anatomical arches that I don't use, but just having them in the box with the Nike stamp on there just brings back so much memories of opening this shoe. They gave me the stuff that I complained in the last video. The stuffing, I've, that's how I said it, the stuffing. The stuffing in the back is thick. It is fat. It is thick. That's perfect. They gave me that fat tongue that I was complaining about. With the neoprene style, that is what is there. It is thick. It is fat. It sits nice. It doesn't sit awful. It has a nice curve to it. They did good on that. Look at the shape that I was complaining about last time too. That toe is nice and smooth and rounded off that toe looks sleek perfect from the upper view they did a great job on the toe you can see that the shoe is straight and the toe looks good i am happy there they gave me the nike international stamp on the insole perfect they brought it back to the old school in 1991 and put that size tag right on the inner heel and I went straight to feet on these so that if they look like they've been worn once, uh, they have. The grip is that original colorway and waffle style sole. Perfect. Now, so like I said, this shoe is 99% perfect. There's 1% that is different and it doesn't really bother me as a bw fan it doesn't bother me it's just different and i was kind of shocked to see it i've never seen this on air max bw parisian color anyways is they put this little lip i don't know why around the air bubble i'll show you on the original pair well not the original pair but i'll show you on the 2008 retro here you see that lip here is the 2008 pair there is no lip. You see how the bubble kind of hides inside the midsole. Yeah, so I thought that was weird. Now, all you people who want to know about quality and all that kind of stuff. Well, for the quality, I would say it was pretty damn good. The suede looks good. The materials look good. The mesh looks good. Um, one thing I did notice is that the shoe is kind of heavy. It's way heavier than the 08. It's just like, it's heavy for some reason. But I don't think that's a bad thing per se. Is they improved, they improved the material here in the midsole. So I think the added weight is because they used a different type of midsole material, which it looks like it's been 
molded different so the midsole is a little harder but it looks like the paint is either baked into the midsole so hopefully that helps this from not cracking that purple paint not cracking because you know that was my biggest pet peeve of the last retro is that literally three wears and this purple was all chipping away so if that stops that from chipping i ain't mad if that doesn't chip and this is a little heavier in my opinion if that doesn't chip i'm cool with that the air max bag is big it's thick it's big it is an air bubble you can see that it kind of protrudes outward which the original did not as much as the original but it gives that same feel the shape is on point i have no complaints about the shoe and nike once again you hit it out of the park with the air max bw if you guys are debating if you want a pair because you have the 2016 pair this pair is way better way better and the shape if anyone's complaining about the shape compared to the originals i can hold this up here Here's the oh, 2008, like I said, I don't have a 1991 Parisian. I will compare the one with my original uh, white and silver up there from 91. But uh, for the most part, the shape is good. Like, look at it. You, besides the slight difference in color, which is not a big deal, but the toe box looks good. Soles look good. The height looks good. It's a little higher, but look at the fat, the fat stuffing perfect you know the the colors will be off because of color discoloration over years but yeah like you got that fat tongue which just rests nicely it's perfect you got a lot of material that nike international stamp yeah they're different colors but that doesn't bother me as long as the shoe looks like it's supposed to look see I was, what i'm saying is that the midsole is different it curves a little different but for the most part it's it's pretty good for the most part, it's pretty good. So, that's the Air Max BW Parisian. I'll show you. So, this is the 1991 original BW uh, white silver leather. Um, if you're wondering, I will not buy the leather pair that's coming out. I just can't handle black midsoles on a black upper. They have to be a white midsole. But that's just me. But uh, compared to this pair, looks good. It's a little higher than the original BW, but that's not that doesn't bother me. Air bubble looks big, so that's good. And the tongue looks good, so I got no complaints on the Air Max BW. What do you guys think about the Air Max BW? Let me know in the comments below. Giving a shout out to all my Air Max BW heads. There's one, a couple things that I screwed up on the Air Max BW video that I realized all on my own. I just rewatched my video and was like, what the hell did I just say? Uh, Dave White is an artist who does sneaker art who also uh, had collaborations with Nike, but he is not Stash. Stash is a different artist, graffiti artist, who did uh, the Air Max BW, Air Max 95. Um, he is a graffiti artist out of the uh, USA, I believe. Um, and yeah, they're two different people. For some reason, I combined them both into one person. And that was my own fault because I always thought they were both the same person, which is kind of weird, but there you go. The Air Max BW 2021.